Summer in Ibiza is coming to an end, and with the island slowing down a little, I thought why not treat myself to a night in a hotel in San Antonio Bay, inside by Melia. The hotel is located directly on the beach, and a highlight is the amazing rooftop bar area with infinity pool and stunning sunset views across San Antonio Bay. Reviews say the breakfast buffet is amazing, so I'm looking forward to checking that out in the morning. Room-wise, I've just opted for the cheapest room, which I'll give a full tour and tell you a little bit more about later on. So guys, let's go spend the night in the hotel inside by Melia in San Antonio Bay. Now, I know the title of this vlog is a review of the inside hotel, but a few days before filming that, I had the opportunity to come to a place in San Antonio that I've wanted to come to for a while. It's called the Stick Urban Hotel. I don't really know too much about it, but it has a fantastic spa inside apparently. So I'm gonna go inside, check this out, and I will tell you a little bit more afterwards. So guys, the Stick Urban Hotel and Spa is a four-star, 41-bedroom boutique hotel with a restaurant located in the heart of San Antonio. There are various spa packages that you can opt for to include carver, brunch, and even an overnight stay. But today, I'm just gonna go for the 35 euro per person use of the spa. And I'm pleasantly surprised to see just how big it is considering we are in a relatively small hotel in the heart of San Antonio. The main pool area has several booths and beds with numerous water jets with varying pressures. At one end, you can find the jacuzzi. However, I have to say that the water temperature in the main pool was a few degrees cooler than I was expecting. Leaving the jacuzzi area, you can find a salt water pool and with a touch of a button, you have a strong currents to swim against. I had a go, but the idea today was to relax and not to exercise. I was impressed with the outside chill out area and in the summer months, I can see this being a great space to enjoy. It has hanging chairs, a shallow pool to dip your feet in and an open air roof. On the far side of the pool, you can find three various shower rooms, one of which mixes aromatic oils in the water as you take a shower. In the final zone, you can enjoy a hammam, a sauna or an ice plunge pool. Unfortunately, the sauna was out of action today, but the hammam steam room was a toasty 46 degrees. Next to that, you can find the ice cold plunge pool, which yes, I did try out, and yes, it was freezing. Okay guys, now for the main reason for this vlog, which as you can tell by the title, is my review of the hotel Inside by Melia. Now I've been here many times before on the rooftop bar to check out the amazing sunset and to enjoy the cocktails. It's a super stylish hotel and I've always wondered what it would be like to stay here. So for today, I'm meeting my girlfriend Antonia here and we're gonna go stay a night in the Inside by Melia Hotel and you just know it's going to be a stylish hotel when you're greeted by a huge rhino as you walk into the reception area. Throughout this area, you can see lots of artworks, murals, sculptures, and various pieces, many of which are from local artists. Just check out the green penguin. We were a little early for check-in, but no worries. Fine to leave the bags in the luggage room and head poolside. Check-in was very smooth. The only shock was the price of the parking. It was 30 euros per night, as I know the area, there are several streets close by where you can park for free, so I decided to go with that option. The downstairs lobby areas are very spacious. You have a bar, several areas where you can just chill out, relax, or even work if you want to. The buffet restaurant is to your right with plenty of outside seating areas. I'm really looking forward to breakfast in the morning. The hotel not only has a rooftop infinity pool, but you also have a second and larger pool to enjoy, which also has direct access to the beach. Right, let's go find a sunbed and chill for a while. So far, so good. The hotel actually closes in two days time, so there aren't too many people here. I can see about 30 people by the pool, but that's good because it means we can get a sunbed easily. Nobody's in the swimming pool, so I think the water might be a bit, bit cold. I will go check it out a little bit later on. But first of all, we come down to the restaurant and we're gonna have some food. I've gone for the nachos and guacamole. And Antonia, what have you gone for? Pizza. Antonia's gone for pizza. We're gonna share. I'm not sure if she knows that yet, but hopefully that's what's gonna happen. And if you was wondering, yes, we did share. 
Nachos were okay with plenty of jalapenos and fresh guacamole, but I was a little bit disappointed with the pizza as I'm pretty sure it was frozen and for a total of 38 euros in a four star hotel, I thought it would be fresh. Anyhow, that brings us to the check-in time of three o'clock. So it's back through the hotel to collect our key card before heading up to the fourth floor, passing some more funky Ibiza artwork and onto our room for the night, room 453. Finally in the room, we arrived at 12 o'clock and checking wasn't until three o'clock. It's 20 past three now, we are here. Let me give you a tour of the room. And just speaking about rooms, because we're only here for one night, just decided to opt for the cheapest room and I will explain a little bit later about the prices. Uh, this one is the inside room. You do have other ones where you can have sea views, front sea views, and I did request, I just said, could you upgrade us for free if you had any availability? But unfortunately that didn't happen, not to worry. But anyway, let me show you the view of the balcony, which we have. You can almost see the sea anyway, but it's a pretty cool view. The room we opted for is the 17 meter squared inside room with a side view. You can pay extra for partial sea view and also for frontal sea view, but for one night's stay, and seeing as I live in the area, this room was fine for us. Either side of the bed, you have those all important power sockets. And as standard, the room does come with two single beds. So you must request a double if that's what you need. Mounted on the wall, you have a flat screen TV and just below you have a small fridge with two complimentary eco-friendly and plastic free cartons of water. Now for that all important bathroom check. A spacious and powerful rainforest shower with complimentary toiletries, shampoo and shower gel, as well as hand soaps and moisturizers by the sink. The rest of the bathroom is pretty average and perhaps could do with a little pimping up to keep it with the same style as the hotel. Although I do have to say the black mambo hair dryer packed a punch. Okay, that was a very quick change. Now we're heading up onto the rooftop for a swim in the pool, no matter how cold it is. Okay? Uh, maybe. Enjoyed that, a couple of hours on the rooftop pool. Uh, it's quite busy up there. That seems to be where all the hotel guests are. DJ's playing, cocktails are flowing. I haven't had anything to drink yet, but I've just come back to the room for a quick shower. I'm gonna head up back there for a sunset beer and check the sunset out. Actually, get a pretty good view of where the sunset is gonna be tonight. It is normally, well, earlier on in the year, it's in that direction over there but tonight it's gonna to go down behind the buildings. So we've got an hour before the sunset, quick change and back up onto the rooftop terrace.
good morning guys from what looks like it's going to be another sunny day here in Ibiza um, I slept really well last night so well in fact it's just after nine o'clock and I'm up I'm gonna head to the gym for the first time in I can't remember how many months <laughs> Well, that's a couple of hundred calories burned, so now time to refuel. And you have to start with the juice, of course. If you have a hangover, a Help Yourself Bloody Mary station could be the solution. Unbelievable amount of choice, starting with cereals and almost every type of milk going. You're not short on the jam selection either. A pickle station, variety of cheese and dried fruits, nuts and seeds. I wasn't quite sure what the two potions at the end are though. You also have a cold meat selection, and then it's onto the cooked breakfast selection. A little disappointed with the sausages, but having freshly cooked omelette made up for that. And at the end of the buffet, a variety of oils, syrups and sauces, and another cool map of Ibiza. The highlight, and something I've never seen at a breakfast buffet, is the honeycomb providing your breakfast honey. If you have a sweet tooth, you're certainly not going to be disappointed either. Pancakes, waffles, cakes, biscuits, donuts, croissants, and almost every other imaginable pastry. After all that, it's time for a lay down. So back up to the roof terrace to chill for our final few hours. The single sun lounges are free of course, but you do have the option to upgrade to the Bali style beds. They cost 100 euros with 80 euros of food and drinks included. And people from outside the hotel are welcome to do this. So it's time for one last swim in this amazing pool and to enjoy the rooftop views. Then sadly, it's time to leave. Unfortunately guys, it's almost time to check out, but I have thoroughly enjoyed my time here at the hotel. The highlights for sure have to be the rooftop bar area with the infinity pool and views across the whole of San Antonio Bay. And so the price, the price for the room I had was 120 euros per night. That was for two people. And that included that amazing breakfast, which I had this morning. So I could have upgraded and had rooms with a beach view or a side pool view, but I wasn't planning to spend much time in the room. So that was fine for me. So thank you guys for watching this vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed staying in the Inside by Melia Hotel. As always, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts on this vlog in the comments box below. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything and it just helps support the channel. Okay guys, see you later. See you on the next vlog. had a little bit of a disaster I was trying to get a drone shot from the balcony of my hotel and it's landed on the roof of the apartment block next door so I'm now on my way to try get it back we have a look guys yes it was there on the top of the apartments opposite a very nice guy in the BA apartments they are called I will just show you his card there. Kindly went upon the roof and we got it back. So fingers crossed, it doesn't look like it's broken. We'll give it another try.